Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about how to calculate the cable trunking size. In one of my previous video, I have already been discussed how to calculate the cable tray size. Calculation of cable trunking size is very easy. In this video, we will learn two different method to calculate the cable trunking size. In the first method, we have some standards, the cable factor for trunking as per IEEE standard. From this standard, there is factor mentioned for different size of single core wires. Type of cable, solid solid, 1.5 square mm, 2.5 square mm and the factor for 1.5 is 7.1 and the factor for 2.5 square mm is 10.10. .10. In same way, for the standard type of wires or cable for different size of cable there is factors mentioned in this table like for 1.5 square mm standard cable the factor is 8.1 for 2.5 square mm the factor is 11.4 for 4 mm 15.2 for 6 mm 22.9 likewise for 150 square mm the factor is 346 you need not to remember this chart as we are here to build the concept for the electrical design. No one will ask the factor for a particular size of cable. If you are going to design the trunking size, then just refer this chart which is easily available in the Google. Okay, now let us check another trunking factor. This is also as per IEEE standard. For different size of trunking, there is a different factor. This also you need not to remember. While calculating the trunking size, just refer this chart which is easily available in the Google which I told you earlier also. In order to better understand how to calculate the trunking size, let us take an example. And by referring this chart, we will find the trunking size. Let us calculate the trunking size with method 1. Question is calculate the GI trunking size for the following power wires running through trunking, consider 10% as a future expansion. 30 NOS of 2.5 square mm standard cable, 52 NOS of 4 square mm standard cable, and 6 NOS of 6 square mm standard cable. So here there are three types of wires: 2.5 square mm, 4 square mm, and 6 square mm. From the chart, we have to get the factor for this three size of wires. So let us check the factor for 2.5 mm square mm wire is 11.4, for 4 mm wire is 15.2 and for 6 square mm wire is 22.9 which I mentioned here. As per the table, cable factor for 2.5 square mm is 11.4 for 4 square mm is 15.2 and for 6 mm is 22.9. So what we have to do, how many 2.5 square mm wire is there? 30 NOS. So we will multiply 30 into 11.4 plus how many wire we have for 4 square mm? 52 NOS. So we will multiply it 52 into 15.2 and how many wire we have for 6 square mm? 6, p 6 nozzles so 6 into 22.9 in order to get the total cable factor so the total cable factor formula is sum of the number of cable into its cable factor so 30 into 11.4 which i mention here 52 into 15.2 which i mention here 6 into 22.9 which i mention here so the total cable factor is if we will calculate this one total cable factor is 12 points uh, sorry 1269.8 now as per the question we have to take the 10% as a future expansion so 10% we will add on this value after calculating the total cable factor is 1396.78 this factor we have to compare with the trunking factor and we have to select 
the trunking factor which is greater than our calculated factor so here the our value is 1396 so let us check after this one this value the next value is 15 six, uh, 1542 so we can select the trunking size as 100 by 100 into 37.5 but i cannot choose a trunking which having a size 100 into 37.5 why because in my project the trunking is approved which is pre galvanized type the length of 3 meter type and the height of the trunking should be of 50 mm 100 mm and 150 mm i cannot go for a trunking which having a height of 37.5 mm in that case i will go for the next higher size trunking and if this trunking size is approved for my project then i will select this one otherwise i will go for the next one but in my case the uh, the size of the trunking that is 75 into 50 is approved as the height of the trunking 50 is approved in my project so i will go for the, a trunking which having a size of 75 into 50 hope you understood this one now let us take the same example but we will calculate the cable trunking size with another method that is the method number two the example is same the question is same that we have to calculate the gi trunking size for a power wire running through a trunking consider 10 percent as a future expansion 30 nos of 2.5 square mm standard cable 50 nos of 4 square mm standard cable and 6 nos of 6 square mm standard cable the question is same but the method will be different as per the technical data sheet for 2.5 square mm the over cross the overall cross section area is 12.56 square mm from where i got this one this i took from the technical data sheet of the wire here you can see that this technical data sheet is for one core 2.5 square mm wire here you see that the approximate diameter is 4 which is this value this is this value 4 so if we know the approximate overall dia of the cable then we can get the cross section area of the wire by using the formula pi d by 2 square so i applied same formula to get the cross section area of 2.5 square mm wire so it is 12.56 square mm again for the 4 mm wire for the 4 mm wire the overall diameter is 4 again so the value for the square mm also will be same 12.56 for 6 mm wire single core 6 mm wire the overall dia is 5 so with this formula if we will calculate the cross section area then it will come as 19.63 mm square so how many 2.5 wire we have 30 nos how many 4 mm wire we have 50 nos and how many 6 mm wire we have 6 nos so this is for the single wire if we want to know the overall cross section area for 2.5 square mm wire then we have to multiply this 12.56 with 20 nos in order to get for 4 square mm overall dia for all cable then we have to multiply 12.56 with 50 nos and if we want to know the overall cross section area for 6, mm, 6 square mm wire then we have to multiply this 19.63 with 6 nos which i did here the total cross section area of the wire is sum of the number of cable into the overall cross section so the total cross section area of the wire will be 30 into 12.56 uh, which i mentioned here 52 into 12.56 which i mentioned here this is 52 and 19. 36 into 6 which i mentioned here when we will calculate this one we will get a value of 1147.7 square mm 
as per the question we have to consider 10% as a future extension so we will add 10% after adding the 10% we will get the total cross section area of wire will be 1262.67 as per the diva regulation for metal and PVC trunking, the space factor shall not exceed 40%. What does it mean? Suppose there is a trunking, then that trunking should have 60% wires and 40% space. Means it is minimum. We can go for 50% wire and 50% space also. But as per the Diva regulation, minimum 40% should be space and 60% can be filled with the wire. So as per the Diva regulation, minimum 40% space factor is required. Here I consider 50% space factor which is greater than 40%. So it is satisfying Diva regulation. As I consider the space factor is 50, it means that this much area 1262.47 area will be wire and same area that is 1262.47 will be free as a space so when i will multiply it with 2 then i will get a value of 25 24.945 square mm if I will select a 50 by 50 size trunking, then its cross section area is 2500 square meter, which is lower than our required cross section area of the trunking. Then I will go for the higher value. So the next higher value is 75 into 50, which having the overall cross section area as 3750. So the final selected trunking size is 75 into 50 mm. Hope you got the clear idea how to select the cable trunking size as per IEEE standard and as per the basic method following DIVA regulation. If you find this video informative and you learn something new from this video, then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We will meet in any other informative video. Till then take care, keep learning and bye bye. Thank you so much.